May 8, 2018, a month of protests in Armenia's capital, rural areas, and even diaspora, ended in the resignation of Prime Minister and longtime leader Ser Sarkisyan and the election of protest leader Nicole Pashinyan. It was an incredible process. The revolution was called the revolution of love and solidarity. As the country moves forward, civil society leaders discuss their role in the revolution and the new Armenia. We have the first fact-checking uh, journalism website in Armenia. I have been involved with the activism openly as a queer individual around two and a half years. We are very much research-oriented and we really want to create a platform of holistic knowledge on human rights, social justice, democratic institutes. The Institute is publishing researches. Uh, conduct seminars, round tables. We are creating our civic action groups in the regions and uh, we empower them with necessary skills. Now doing PhD uh, in Russian Armenian University in political science. I'm a feminist activist. I'm very active also in town Abovian. I do a lot of uh, like art and activism. Our main vision is to have empowered and well-educated young people in Armenia ready to make a transformation and change. Civilleta online has been given to me for a new Saban me bolor ayn mijotsarunere bolor ayn debkere. Before and during the revolution, activists used tactics including raising issues, educating the public, drawing attention to the protests and participating in the demonstrations. The civic movement became more uh, powerful than political parties because they advocate for public interest and to protect the interests of, of different groups. There were a lot of like, initiatives which were organized by these civic activists. For example, the civic disobedience against the transport of these, our driving by car, they were the main basis of this revolution. Young people who were like, basically trained for instance on, you know, on the topics of active citizenship. They learned how they need to protect their rights, for instance, at the police station. So they were like insisting, you know, if I'm detained, I need to have this, this, this rights, you need to bring it up here. The main thing is that the people who are we were contacting on Twitter every possible international media resource asking them to pay attention because this is also one more message to make the protests peaceful. During the protest I was also bomb. I still have scars on my hand and on my feet. LGBT people and queer people, feminists are always in the front. We have been oppressed so much that we have like lost fear. The main task was to talk to them, to explain them why they should stand with us. For me, the most important case is my mother. I said, Mom, you know, you should go out with them. It doesn't matter if you are working in, in you know, government organization like school. You should go out because if not me, who else should go there? And it, it was my victory when I got the information that my mom, <laughs> with her like school children, is out in the square protesting and claiming their rights. Since the revolution, people have hoped for progress. However, many problems remain. So civic activists are participating in new projects as well as exploring new ways to advocate for human rights. <laughs> I wasn't there for Nicole Pashinyan. I do not trust him. I do not trust his administration because the people who bombed the IOI, they had to pay a loan and 
The loan was paid by Arts with Minasia, who is now a minister. Very few parties to choose now, and of course, uh, young people were not involved in political processes before. Uh, now they should uh, start to involve. We should have uh, the ideological parties now, like leftists, rightists. The issues of violence and discrimination are actually the root causes of semi-dictatorial model of governance that we actually had previously. And I would love to redefine some core issues, like what is social justice, what is human rights, what is solidarity. Those are the narratives that have been uh, very much manipulated previously. But those are the narratives that need to uh, be revised and to become grounded in the way we build our society. We are par participating in the electoral court reform. Also are trying to understand uh, what other reforms can be initiated by civil society. The hardest thing to come up with all the obstacles from the previous government and simultaneously uh, be very active and effective in the world. This is the most important thing. People got the job.